Hello, I'm Roy, and I'm a, just a guy with guitars from China. Uh, let me tell you about why I started this channel and uh, what my experiences have been. I started this channel because uh, about a year ago, I started watching videos of people that were buying guitars from China very inexpensively, and it, you know it would have Gibson on the headstock and they would complain because there were certain details that were off or whatever and I was thinking well what do you expect for a $200 guitar but anyway uh, I kind of thought well they're not doing it right or accurately and there's there was problems with the quality people would get receive guitars with the headstock broken or with they really bad fret work and they need to redo all the frets or the neck would be warped and they wouldn't be able to fix it or the pots would be noisy or the switches would be noisy they would have to change them out or pickups would be wired the wrong way things like that and uh, I, there was more horror stories than there were good stories really I thought well those are from three or four years ago those videos so I started looking for more recent videos and there was a guy that was saying well you know they're finally getting it right as far as like the placement of the knobs compared to the bridge you know with the relation on the body uh, the placement of the logo as it lines up with the, the guitar neck and everything uh, they've been getting a lot of things right they still on the this one here the custom Les Paul custom the inlays are too small right here they don't go up high enough and there is a guy who did a video uh, it was a review of the guitar that he got it was a Iron Cross guitar a Les Paul he was saying that the seller told him he could make the inlays bigger on the neck and he did and uh, anyway I'll put a link to that guy's video and here and the notes for this uh, I don't remember the name of the seller but you'll have to go watch the video first that way you can see what the guy got what he received and then you'll have to look for the store that has the seller search on Aliexpress for that store that has the seller you don't know I had to go search for through all the different stores until I finally found that seller and uh, if you know what to do, then you can find them. Uh, you just have to have uh, experience using AliExpress, as I have. And uh, in future videos, I'll show you how to order on AliExpress and um, the different options that you have. You can customize a guitar any way you want. This was this would have been originally a red guitar with a quilted top. I wanted blue, so I got the color blue, and that was no extra cost to me. Uh, you have to remember though, when they build these guitars, a $200 guitar shipped to your door is not going to have a very high bill of goods. You're getting the lowest end of just about everything. Everything looks decent, but I mean, these pickups, they're not wax potted. They're microphonic. You can hear yourself talking through them when you're plugged into an amp. And uh, if you tap on it, it, it goes through the amp. Um... I got these guitars with stock pickups because I plan on putting a different pickups in every guitar that I have so they will each have their own sound and their own personality and uh, in fact this next guitar that I have on order so Les Paul I asked the seller about wax potted pickups and she said she could give them to me for no extra cost and but they're made in China so well that doesn't matter to me where they're made I mean the guitar is made in China so that's fine and they might sound better than what I've been getting and they these things sound all right out of the box they really do uh, I'd say five or six of the I'd say probably five of the guitars that I ordered of the seven had reason re reasonable action they were it was low enough to where the strings didn't buzz and it wasn't so high like in the lower the lower frets the higher frets like you normally get if it's not set up so I mean still uh, you, you should get it set up get all the frets checked out uh, make sure the action is correct when you first get one of these and 
you know, you have to have the right kind of expectations. You can't expect something that will look exactly like a Les Paul in every single way. You get something that's finished more like an Epiphone than a Les Paul, which isn't bad. You know, it's just not going to be very top notch on everything. But, you know, from five or six feet away, nobody can tell the difference. And if that's what you want, that's great. I'm not going to be the thought police on whether you should get uh, a guitar with a Gibson logo or not. I, you know, I know it's wrong, but I do it because I, it's what pleases me. And, you know, if it impresses a few people, that's fine. But I know it's not a Gibson. And other people may think it's a Gibson, which is fine with me. That's good. It, that's that's why people ordered us to, to do that. And if you want a cheap guitar to bring on stage when you're doing gigs, hey, it's better bring a $200 guitar than a $1,500 Les Paul, Gibson Les Paul. So there is that to think about. And uh, as far as uh, starting off with an Epiphone, or some other inexpensive guitar as a first guitar instead of something like this. I think it's better to get something like this. Even if you don't, you shouldn't get the Gibson logo. I don't recommend it. Put your own logo on there or no logo at all. And uh, you'll have a fine guitar to play. Uh, maybe change the pickups. You don't have to spend $125 each on the pickups. You can get some that sound really great for less than that. Uh, if you check on China Guitar Skeptic, they uh, have forums about all of that. And that's a really good YouTube channel also. That guy has had problems with the guitars that he ordered from China, but that was three or four years ago. Uh, the quality is getting a lot better now than it was before. I've, I've had good experiences with all of the guitars I received from them so far, it's all, all seven of them. And uh, I'll go through all of them with you later on. But I just want to say that it's not a bad experience. I'm going to recommend the seller that I've been dealing with the most with six of my guitars. Uh, I know you'll be treated right with that seller. Uh, you'll be in good hands if you want to try this. I decided to try it and I haven't regretted it. And it's been a fun journey so far. And hopefully it will be for you also if you decide to uh, try this out. Uh, right now I want to give a shout out to uh, people that have inspired me, people here on YouTube that have inspired me to start a channel and to do this. And hopefully you will subscribe and uh, join the forums that they have if they do. First is China Guitar Skeptic. I'll put a link to all of these uh, in the notes. For this video trying to guitar step skeptic he tells it like it is he's honest about what he gets what he had gotten from china and and what he had to do to to fix the problems that he had like i said i haven't had the problems he has had but he has really great forums on his website and his videos are really informative about many different things uh, really great guy really smart guy uh really great place to start uh, a lot of some of these have nothing to do with guitars from China, but they are people that you can learn a lot from. Chris Kessner, uh, Chris Kessner, he has great production in his videos. He'll talk about a guitar, and then there'll be a different segment showing him jamming without his microphone on, so you can hear only the guitar. And he'll split it up into segments like that. And it's really great production in his videos, and he's a very talented player. Uh, also, Groovy Music Lessons, Scott Grove, the name of his channel is Groovy Music Lessons and also GroovyMusicLessons.com. Really smart guy, been doing this for almost as long as I've been alive, and uh, he has a lot of experience to put behind everything he says, and I recommend watching all of his videos. He tells it like it is, and even if you think he's wrong, most of the time he's right so uh he's a really good guy though too uh will's easy guitar uh will uh repairs guitars and makes his own custom guitars in his shop and he shows you things about guitar mods and 
things like that, uh, different tricks on playing, and uh, really great guy as well, really smart. Uh, next is Pixie Licks. Uh, that's a guy from Massachusetts, I think, and a really good guy. Uh, he has a guitar that he got from China three years ago, and he said he hasn't changed anything on it, not even the pickups, because, hey, if it's not broke, don't fix it. That's a great attitude to have, and that guitar sounds great even to this day and uh, he also has mods on there and uh, different uh, used guitars that he reviews not just guitars from China uh, really great guy really smart uh, Rudesso's guitar mods that's a guy from Canada uh, he's just started getting into modding guitars and repairing guitars uh, he has a lot of great stuff on his channel uh, you can learn a lot from from him and uh, next is uh, you know there's people that are talented and they just inspire me to want to try harder in what I do uh, such as KC Fox Navy KC Fox Navy uh, this woman is not only is she beautiful she plays guitar piano and sings very well she's talented and speaking of beautiful and talented, a Dunby and a Dunby talks. Uh, that's uh, a lady from uh, Holl Nor Holland, Norway, and she doesn't speak English that well, but she has a really great attitude, really nice attitude. She's fun to watch. She uh, will show you tricks on playing guitar and uh, just different little thoughts and things to uh, learn and try. And she does cover, she'll cover different songs and things. She'll play lead guitar, the rhythm guitar, the bass guitar, just about every part in the song and plays it on video. And like I said, she really has a great, bright attitude. She's fun to watch. Uh, really nice lady. Nice, I keep wanting to say nice girl, but she's a lady. Really nice lady. And uh, next is Anderton's Music. Uh, they're in... England uh, they have a lot of great gear reviews and things about the history of guitars and things like that um, a lot of uh, talented people doing their videos Rob Chapman he's uh, connected with Anderton's affiliated with them and him and the owner of Anderton's do a lot of uh, comparison videos Gibson versus Les Paul uh, things like that and uh, Rob Chapman is a really talented guy, has a band, uh, and he has his own custom line of guitars uh, that are really great, really good guitars. And, uh, you know, when you watch these last two channels I mentioned, you know, they're wanting to sell something. They're in the business of selling things, but they have a lot of great knowledge and a lot of great talent. They make their videos really entertaining, and that really means a lot. I've enjoyed watching all of them, and I'm sure you will too. So, like I said, I will have uh, links to them in the notes, and also a link to my number one seller on AliExpress that I suggest you should try. Uh, please subscribe to all of these guys uh, on China Guitar Skeptic. Please join his communities, his forums. We want to make his community bigger so everybody can benefit. Uh, I just want to put in my two cents here and there on these videos because I have some unique things that I can share and I'd like to get it out there uh, this way because I've enjoyed watching a lot of the videos and it's really great to be giving back and providing videos that hopefully people will enjoy watching. So next time I will show you my entire guitar collection which consists of uh, Chinese guitars and used guitars that I bought over time. Uh, until then, take care.